I'm going to call the meeting to order. Please. Yes, sir. Jorge Dominguez. Present. Mike Baron. Present. Juan Narvaez. Present. Yushin Huang. Present. Larry Dovalina. Here. Daniela Sadapaz. Ana Gabriela Villarreal. Erasmo Villarreal. For the record, Mr. Chairman, you do have quorum. Thank you. Um, I, I move to excuse the council, the commissioners that are absent. A second. How about the other commissioners? Only in this area? No, all of them. All of them. Okay. There's some motion to excuse all the commissioners. No, Alina, sorry. Alina. Second. Second by Juan. Okay. Any favor? Aye. 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 Ayes have it. You will rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Okay. And now we, we move to the um, to the approval of minutes of the special meeting of July 28, 2022. So, 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 Mr. Chairman, I just have a before we make that motion, I know there, there are a few things on the on the minutes. As far as excuse, I know under under July 28, um, my, I'm not excused there. The other three uh, board uh, or uh, PNC commissioners have been. I don't know if that was a typo or what yeah, happened I there. I think that's a, a, a mistake because uh, usually we make a motion right, to excuse that's everybody. So can can that be amended? Absolutely. Yes, sir. And then I believe, and, and then there's, for, so we're good. I'm at discussion on the August fourth minutes. Can I talk about that now? Yeah. Cool. Okay. So on the August fourth, um, on page five, I know um, we made we made we had some discussion. I don't know if it was item F. Mr. Chairman, or, or item item G, but there was some discussion about creating a subcommittee when we to address the issue of a textile. I don't know if you all recall mm -hmm. the last meeting, and there isn't anything in the minutes about um, us or that discussion happening. Um, again, I don't know if if it was in. And there was a long discussion. There was a lot of folks that were coming up to, this, to talk about some of the things, but but I, I believe it was F. F or G, uh, Mr. Chairman, that, that w there was some discussion about creating a subcommittee to deal with access onto Loop 20 in the South. And okay, what we can do is we'll, we'll go over the minutes again, because I know we, we watched the audio or the video, and we'll double check and make sure we, had, okay. we find the action that was made, and that way we can go ahead and bring that back to, you, okay. to everyone. Okay. And then early on D, I think I came in in item E and, and in the minutes on, on that same, oh, on okay. that same meeting. Okay. Okay. Well, and additionally, I saw that um, staff present was also Assistant City Attorney Joaquin Rodriguez is missing. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and approve the minutes the way they are. Yes. But we're going to revisit the minutes and we're going to go ahead and, and give a, a corrected copy to Commissioner Barron. Okay. Please do. And he'll go on the records. Is that, are you good with that, Commissioner? Yeah, no, I just want to make sure we put that. Okay. We, so, we, we just need to make sure, I think, during the discussion that you talked about on the August 4th, we asked for a presentation by text out at one of our meetings. Right. And I want to make sure that we it doesn't get lost and you do bring it forward. Like I said, I'll, I'll go ahead and look at the me the minutes one more time and get clarification exactly what we were, was discussed and what was requested, and then we'll, you know, take that action and we'll put it on the next meeting. I remember that discussion, uh, Mr. Navarro, and we're going to invite uh, Texas, a representative, and uh, apparently it didn't happen. So okay. if, uh, if we can correct it and uh, and you can contact uh, Commissioner Dovalina. Or maybe send a copy to all the commissioners. Absolutely. So that we're going to have, if an agent for uh, or or uh, someone from Texas for next meeting. So Absolutely. If, we, if you would be kind enough to put it on the agenda of next. Uh, we'll do that. We'll send everybody an announcement. Sure. Are you good, uh, Commissioner? Yes. Uh, everybody. Okay. okay so uh, now I, I would I would move to table the approval of the minutes until the corrections are reviewed. Second. 
Okay. I withdraw uh, my motion. Only the, only the August 4th? I withdraw my okay. motion. Thank you. Now, that would be, we're tabling the minutes only for August 4th? July 28th and August 4th, okay. right? Okay. We're going to go ahead and table both of them. Okay. <coughs> There's a, a motion and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. We're going to table, we're going to table the, uh, the minutes, the approval minutes. Okay. Mr. Navarro, do we have any citizen comments on item number five? We did not get any sign-ups. We did not get any sign-ups. Okay. So we're going to move to item number 6A, which is uh, public hearing. Amending the zoning ordinance map of the city of Laredo by rezoning approximately 0 0.15 acres being the east 46 feet of lot 2, block 664, Eastern Division, conveyed by the to Maribel Cisneros de Velasquez, recorded in volume 5282, page 366. Official public record, Webb County, Texas, situated city of Laredo, Webb County, Texas, located at 1215 Ryan Street from R3, Mixed Residential District, and B3, Community Business District, to B3, Community Business District. Thank you, Mr. Presentation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. For the record, we have applicant Maribel Cisneros Velasquez, owner. We have Oscar O. Velasquez, owner. Um, we have property location approximately 0 0.15 acres, located at 1215 Ryan Street. We have a zone change request from an R3 and B3 to a B3. Proposed use is a car lot. As uh, a what? A car lot. Okay. Letter sent is 30. We have none for and none against. Location view. Aerial view. Street view. We have zoning map. The future land use map and the proposed motion is staff um, does not support and the proposed motion. Okay. This is a public hearing, so I will ask that anyone in favor of the song change come to the podium and explain. In favor. Is he here? Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Sí, ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Eh, Oscar Velázquez, el aplicante. Gracias, Mr. Velázquez. Sí, mire, eh, estoy haciendo la, la, la aplicación para el cambio de zona porque yo tengo un lote. Entonces, yo fui a preguntar al, a la en Planning and Zoning antes de comprar la propiedad y me dijeron que no iba a haber ningún problema para hacer el cambio de zona. Entonces, ah, hoy en la mañana me hablaron me dijeron que no, no hacían, o sea, que no soportaban la, la aplicación, pero pues yo puedo dar que podía hacerla. Pero yo pregunté antes de comprar la propiedad y me dijeron que no había ningún problema, que lo más seguro es que iban a hacer el cambio. Entonces, si hablé temprano, me dijeron, es que a lo mejor la persona ya no sabía, pero pues si no sabe, pues, o sea, se me hizo de mala fe que esté dando información ahí enfrente. Este, yo le digo, pues un, un lote de carros no, este, no es nada como un taller o como, una, o como un yonque o algo. Los carros están parados, no se mueven, se venden, no los volvemos a ver. No son los carros que entran y salen. Está enseguida de la tienda que se llama Pingüinos. Entonces todo el tiempo hay carros afuera que entran y salen hasta las 12 de la noche. O sea, no, yo no veo la diferencia. Ya la mitad del lote es B3. Ya la mitad del lote, falta nada más la otra mitad. Este, pues yo no, yo no veo ningún problema, como le digo, o sea, movimiento no, no hay en, lo, en un lote. Están parados siempre los carros, se vende, no lo vuelvo a ver. O sea, no, no es gran movimiento de carros, entra, sale o nada de eso. Entonces, nomás para hacer como display, no se hace mecánica, no se hace pintura, no se hace nada. Nomás se ponen los carros ya listos para vender, se anuncia. Viene el comprador, compra, se vende y yo no lo vuelvo a ver. O sea, no es tanto el movimiento ahí de carros o, o mucha cosa, no. Es una barra. So, you know, I, I 
understand what he's saying as far as uh, that somebody told him that. Um, you know, uh, typically we tell everybody that they have the right to to apply for a zone change. That's their right that they can do it. Uh, whether Está in, sí, 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 um, whether you all uh, agree to recommend to city council, ultimately city council is the one that approves this. So we we really don't have the authority to to guarantee. We I mean because of the process, we just can't guarantee. Um, you know, I, I hope there's no, somebody didn't say that it was a misinterpretation, but, um, that's all I can say to that. We can't guarantee anything because it's a recommendation that you make. And then it, ultimately the final decision is by the city council. Um, so. this is a public hearing. Thank you, Mr. Navarro. This is an audience pública. Déjeme seguir con la audiencia. Y este, ahorita vemos que son los deseos. Ok, de... y como yo antes, antes de comprar la propiedad, yo pregunté primero. O sea, ahorita ya compré la propiedad. O sea, a lo mejor fue un malentendimiento de la persona que me atendió. Y como está diciendo el señor, a lo mejor puede ser eso. Pero si no sabía la respuesta, o sea, ¿por qué me dijo que sí? O sea, yo antes de comprar la propiedad, la compré, para asegurarme que la podía hacer. Y entonces yo, yo empecé todo el proceso. O sea, ya invertí en la propiedad. Eh, hice el survey, me costó $1,500 dólares y yo apenas hoy me hablaron que no soportaban la, la aplicación de, de B3. O sea, yo sé que, yo lo sé, no es la primera vez que hago esto de cambio de zona. Yo sé cómo me la pueden dar, cómo no me la pueden dar. Pero por eso yo antes de comprar la propiedad fui y pregunté sobre la dirección para comprar la propiedad. Y ahorita ya tengo más invertido más de $100,000 dólares y ahora me dicen que no puedo hacer. O sea, me quedo yo, pues... Como quien dice en el aire, ¿me entiendes? Es mucho dinero. Entonces, si la persona que me dio esa respuesta me la dio mal, pues algo, algo está pasando, ¿me entiendes? Correcto. Como le digo, es una audiencia pública. Sí, sí, sí. Este, déjeme preguntar okay. si alguien más está a favor o a contra de, del cambio de zona. Gracias. Do you think you guys have uh, questions for Mr. Vasquez? Okay. So, anybody in favor, anybody else in favor of the song change? Anybody against the song change? Anybody against the song change? Okay. Um, one of the reasons that, uh, that we, that, that I think that the B3 is not appropriate for that area, it's because uh, it can develop into other type of businesses that might impact on the community itself, even though that area might be a little bit commercial, either they're, they're uh, legal or illegal, conforming or non-conforming, it, uh, it doesn't give us the right to create a, uh, a zoning where it might be adverse to the community. So that's one of the reasons that I, that I kind of agree with, uh, with planning zoning that uh, it should be denied, but of course, any other commissioners have any questions or want to want to mention anything in that effect? I have a question for staff. How is it that the lot is divided R three and B? I was going to I was going to talk to that point. Um, this is a, an illegal, illegally subdivided uh, property. So depending on how this zone goes, if he decides, if let's say it goes positive for him, he will have to come back and and rezone the uh, excuse me or replant the property. Replant the property. Does he have to plant? Yes. Okay. And when he comes to plant, if he needs uh, public improvements, you're going to require it? Yes. Like additional parking? Well, he, at that point, if he, if he puts his design together, he'll take it to the building department, and then he'll have to comply with the building department's criteria when it comes for a type of business like that. Now, um, if I may, the... Uh, what happens if he gets a special use permit, not to change the zone, but to create a special use permit that will go away if he decides not to continue with the uh, with a, a conditional use one. permit? Yes. He has the option to do that if he'd like. And and do you have uh, the right to attach conditions to that special use permit? Conditional use permit? Yes, we do. Uh, because. Uh, not that he's gonna do it, but uh, used car lots are notorious for getting overstocked and using the street as parking. 
and that impacts the residential areas, which the majority of the area is residential. Correct. Right. Okay. Pero si me pone, o sea, restricciones, o sea, yo, yo lo que me digan que tenga que hacer tantos carros, tantos vehículos, yo lo puedo hacer. O sea, yo sigo las reglas que ustedes Si me quiere digan, venir aquí al podio lo... para, que, bueno. para que se grabe. Sí. sí, cualquier condición que me pongan en cuestión de límite de carros, eh, cosas que tenga que hacer, o sea, yo las hago. Estaba platicando con, uh, con Mr. Navarro. Yo voy a decir algo. Sí, si vas a... Uh, a pedir un permiso condicional, hay que regresar y aplicar y luego uh, hacer la misma cosa que el, el procesamiento, ¿verdad? Y también hay un riesgo que no te lo dan, no te lo dan pero, pero sí se puede. Sí, como digo, yo, yo, yo lo, lo, lo que me digan que si no puedo tantos carros en este, tal lugar, o sea, o sea, yo lo quiero hacer correctamente, o sea, no quiero llegar, meter a montón de carros por todos lados, o sea, eso la verdad, la verdad no, o sea, lo que yo quiero nada más es estar bien, establecido, permisos, o sea, todo legalmente. O sea, si me dicen son 10 carros, son 10 carros y, y eso, eso hasta menos. If he was to go uh, pursue a conditional use permit, would that bypass, would he then not need to do the plat process? No, no. He, still, he, needs he still needs to, still to, needs to do the plat process. But he would just, um, basically, um, he would come back to us, reapply, asking for a conditional use permit. We'll put conditions to it, um, and then we'll present that to you all, and he'll start the process again. But we have to start again the if, process. If we want him to use a conditional use permit, do we table a motion for reconsideration at we a later not. time, or do we deny it? You, you can do mean, either, or you can table huh? it or deny it. If, but but time, time-wise, how does that affect them? We try to bring it back to the next meeting, if possible. That's no, no, two no, no, weeks. No, I think no, 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 no. He, he has to apply again. That's correct. So it's but, a whole new cycle for, for, so, for the CUP. So what does that mean in the matter of time? Because he says he's invested all this money. Well, the next, the next deadline is... I don't know, probably next month. So then he would go to the next meeting after that. So you're talking about Because we have to notice, we have to do all of that for the new application. So you're if you take action on this one, on this case, he can continue this case going forward because he's going to have to pay another fee anyway. And the, the new application can, you know, can uh, move can along that. So afterwards. You, so you're talking about 60 days or more? Uh, it, for for at least to come back to PNZ, yes, probably. As a condition, we'll use. Yes. Permit. The only issue is that well, well the issue is that um, by law we have to notify uh, the surrounding again homeowners again, and we have to do we have to do it 16 days in advance, and that's a state law. That's just that's just the process. Uh, what I'm happened? To. I I'm, I moved to deny. Okay. Let, me, let me close the, the public here. Yeah. Okay. So there's nobody in favor, nobody against. Now I'm going to close the public hearing and I'm going to go ahead and ask for a motion. Go ahead. I move to deny Dovalina. I have no. Commissioner Dovalina. Second. And uh, Commissioner Barron, second the motion to deny. All in favor, signify by saying aye. All right. Aye. 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 And we'll talk. We'll talk to the applicant. We'll start the, yes. the process. Okay. Básicamente, lo que hicimos fue negar el B3, pero van a hablar con usted de una posibilidad para que pueda poner su negocio. We're going to tell them his options. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to move to uh, to item number six B, amending the zone ordinance map of the city of Laredo by authorizing the issuance of a special use permit for a restaurant serving alcohol. On the east part of lots five and seven, block 167, Western Division, and 1,249.92 square feet out of the main avenue right away, adjacent to lots five and seven, block 167, Western Division, as per the recorder in volume 5323, pages 741 through 747, Webb County Official Public Record located at 1020 Main Avenue. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 
applicant is 1020 Main LLC owner. William Hernser is the applicant. Um, property location is located on 1020 Main Avenue. Um, the zone change request is actually a special use permit for a restaurant serving alcohol. Their proposed use is a restaurant serving alcohol uh, alcohol for a cafe radical. Um, letter sent 22-4-0 against zero. Okay, this is, uh, you're done? Oh, no, no. Oh, oh go ahead. Yes, I'm sorry. sorry. Go ahead. This is the uh, location view. Aerial view, street view, zoning overview, future land use, staff recommendations, staff supports a proposed special use permit, and a proposed motion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, this is, go ahead, what we're gonna say. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, this is the downtown area. We have um, the downtown area. I'm sorry, St. Peter's District, the historic district. Historic that, district. Historic district. And uh, we've recently uh, been seeing investments into that area. And with that, there's a necessity for things, different things, restaurants, maybe shops, maybe grocery store, things of that nature. And um, I know that this is one of the services that we like to see um, simply because they've taken one of the homes, a beautiful home, uh, turned it into a restaurant, uh, they're maintaining it. And I know Mr. Hernser has been, been working with us through the process because simply um, this is one of the first of its kind and we're hoping we can mold this into something that our historic district could turn into something for tourism, uh, people to go eat, uh, uh, you know, walk around the neighborhoods, check out these beautiful historic homes. So this is the first step in trying to encourage this kind of investment in this area. It's, so, let me go ahead and continue with the public hearing. Thank you, Mr. Navarro. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask anybody that is in favor of the uh, of the uh, issuance of the special use permit. In favor, a favor, in favor. For your for the record, your name. I'm Rochelle Mota. And William Hernser. So we are the owners of Café Radical. We are a coffee shop that also serves food. Um, and we are trying to acquire a special use permit so that we can serve wine and some specialty beers. Um, we do plan on staying open until about 9 p.m. Thursday through Saturday so that we won't be a disturbance to the neighbors in the area. Um, and yeah, our other normal operating hours would be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, um, closing just after lunch. Um, we do ask that there's some consideration to possibly allow 9 p.m. to be the window throughout the week as for simplicity of scheduling um, in the future, because it's yet to be seen how the business is going to evolve. Um, but yeah, outside of that, that's what we're working okay. with. I, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, first, I have visited your establishment, and um, I commend you guys for, for taking this opportunity to do this downtown, like Mr. Navarro was mentioning. It is needed, and um, we've gone three or four times now with my family, and, and um, I, I really commend you guys for doing it. There were, have you guys had a chance to look at the uh, comments that were provided to you guys by staff? Yes, we have. Yes. Now, I know you just mentioned a little bit about the hours of operation, and that's something I wanted to address with the commission and staff. Um, in the in the comments and mentions kind of like Monday and Tuesday from, from 9 to 2 and then Wednesday and Thursday another day, uh, I would like it to be uniform or I would recommend that to you guys uh, to do something maybe from si 7 to 9 Monday through Sunday and you guys have the opportunity to decide, you know, how late you want to stay or close because, I mean, even 9 p.m. I, I believe is a reasonable time. But, but that would be something you guys would want to consider in the commission to make that. And I know I also saw uh, another comment that staff made as far as uh, outdoor music at your establishment. And I know you guys have some benches, benches outside when I visited. And I know you guys have like a little um, home speaker, right? Like one of those Bluetooth speakers. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have an issue with that um, being there as far as a comment. Um, rather than none at all, right? And and I would hate for you guys to want to do that. And I don't know if they would have to come back, Mr. Navarro, if they wanted to make that change. Um, 
in the future if they were to have something like that at the establishment. Let me interrupt you. Let me go ahead and continue with the public hearing. And then once we get uh, the pros and against, and uh, we'll go ahead and integrate exactly what okay. you're... But can you answer that question of as far as... Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, but they have to come back if there was something that they wanted later. They could always come back later and, and they'd have they, to reapply? They would have to come for an amendment to the permit. Okay. And they'd go through the process. All right. And and I guess they just... When you feel you're ready for that, uh, then we can we can talk about it. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, for your comment. I, I need to continue with the public hearing. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So, as I mentioned, this is a public hearing, and uh, they were in favor. Do we have anyone that is against the special use permit? Against? Okay, none heard. Uh, Commissioner Barron. Yeah, um, you can go ahead and integrate what, uh, what right. you feel. Then we'll make a motion. I don't know if we can have the applicant back if they're okay with 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 the recommendation of your hours of operation from from seven a.m. to nine p.m. Monday right. through through Sunday. Yeah. Um, May I have a question about parking? What's the parking situation like now? So the parking situation was something that was um, kind of a back and forth initially, uh, even just as the coffee shop, without alcohol being being talked about. Um, we had requested to see if street parking was would be uh, included in our count. Um, and originally that was denied. Um, There's some back and forth about that. But we were um, asked to have 14 spots originally. Because it is in the historic district, we were granted um, to cut that number in half, in half to seven. Um, and then it was allowed that three uh, we were granted three street parking spaces, as well as a written permission to use four parking spaces at the what was formerly the Phoenix Bookstore. Um, so the city does have that permission on file. Um, the so yeah, we have the seven spots required. Where is the parking now? Because um, looking at your Exhibit A, and I don't see where your seven spots would be. So currently, um, down Washington, we have two spots of uh, street parking, and then if you turn onto Main, there are two to three more spots directly in front of the property. And then the four are um, off the premise um, at the Phoenix, or what was formerly the Phoenix bookstore. So that gives us a total of seven. Is, is so, the old Jewish temple for sale? Um, that building is actually owned by our current landlord. Um, and we do have permission to park overflow vehicles there. Who, who is your current landlord? Mark Gonzalez. I'm here, Commissioner. Uh, yes, I have granted the authorization for that. We need to park across the Jewish synagogue as well. Great. Uh, so I think they, they need all their own parking. Yeah, we uh, yeah, yeah, totally got hands on this. Okay. What I understand is that, that this business is already active. Yes, sir. you're just trying to, in, to to bring the fact that you will be able to serve out there. Yes, sir. Yes. How long have you had the business? We have been open two months. Two months. Yes, okay. So just an update uh, in the discussion about parking. Uh, City Council has uh, asked that we take the historic residential office, which is what they're currently zoned, to bring that to you, you'll be seeing it probably in the next meeting, to adjust uh, the HRO designation zone to remove the parking restrictions because it is making it difficult in the historic district. So you'll probably be seeing that at our next meeting and then that'll go to city council at the request of the city council. Okay. Yeah, because right now downtown has, if you if they were to open at uh, here downtown, mm -hmm. the parking requirement is not that's correct. needed, right? That's correct. Okay, thank you for your comments. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to close the public hearing. What are the wishes of the commission? I'd like to close public hearing and make a motion to support staff recommendation for the special use permit. With can we and with uh, the amendments of hours of operation from um, Monday, from Sunday through from Monday through Sunday from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then the outdoor, I guess, limited to. A home speaker. I don't know if that would be the right. Minimal music, yeah. Minimal. Is there somebody that lives next door? Yes. Yes. And the, uh, yes. behind them, yeah, I believe so. Yes. Huh? Behind them, I believe so. Yeah. Okay, I have uh, a motion Go. by Commissioner Narvaez. Uh, I second. 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 Uh
want to answer that question. So, uh, um, in back of the house, it's, uh, it's going to be some law offices and it's also a commercial property. I think on the side there, there is uh, one. If you can talk to the podium, sir. <laughs> Good afternoon, Commissioner Ryan. Name's Eduardo Gonzalez. We're the owners of the house uh, directly west of this property, and uh, we have no. You don't have any problems. Yeah, okay. we have no issues. And, and there's actually some parking spots in front of our, of our home that they're welcome to use. You know, there's okay. no problem with that. Okay, thank you. And there is a seven foot fence that, that uh, okay. separates, so it helps as a sound barrier as well. Thank you. I have already closed the public hearing. So I'll second the motion. Wong, second. Okay, I'll have a, a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Yes, aye. Thank you. Now I'm going to move to item 6. C. Amending the zoning ordinance map of the city of Grado by rezoning lot 7, block 2031, Eastern Division, located at 3220 Santa Barbara from an R3 mixed residential district to a B1 limited business district. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. For the record, we have the applicant, Dolores Hernandez, owner. We have property location, lot seven, block 2031, Eastern Division, located at 3220 Santa Barra. Uh, zone changes from an R3 to a B1. Proposed use is a restaurant. Letter sent is 30, was 35. None for, none against. Location view. Aerial view. Street view. Zoning map. Future land use map. And the recommendation is staff supports. And the proposed motion. Okay. This is a public hearing. Anybody in favor of the zone change? In favor of a vote? Anybody against the, the zone change? Anybody against? Mr. Navarro? Uh, yes. We don't have anybody here to, to be for or against. Uh, so what's the story on this? So th this is uh, on the corner of Ejido. Ejido and South Laredo is the, uh, I, I equate it to the McPherson that we have on the north side. Ejido's that on the south side. Um, next door is a B1 uh, for this corner. Directly Caddy Corner is a restaurant. We also have a grocery store a block away and a daycare across it. I believe it's a daycare across the street. So we felt that it, it works for the community, uh, for because we have businesses already that people can walk to, mm -hmm. this would just complement it in the area. And once again, the I don't know if you saw the zone, the zoning map, but the inside lot is B1. Yeah. And so they're just making the corner lot B1 also. Okay. So are, are they here because they got caught? No. They're here I, voluntarily? Yeah. I don't think that they didn't, there was no citation here, was there? I, not that I know of. Oh, did, Somebody in code enforcement go talk to them and tell them they were out of zone and they've been operating all this time for free. So not that we're um, huh? wait, not that we're aware of. No, it's not an operation now. I believe what happened. Um, she had wanted to open up the restaurant again, and I at that point I think they stopped her because of the zone. So it was already a restaurant there in the wrong zone. Just a yes or no answer. So I think uh, that uh, I think we should table it uh, since we, we don't have anybody I, that, that. I don't think uh, we. Uh, you know, this used to be a restaurant, and then they want to. They want to. But it's a wrong zone. Correct. It, it wasn't the right so zone. Closed. So now they're trying to open it, so they're uniforming the the zone so that they can open. It. So why they're not here? Explain what they have. I know. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. I can't know. answer that question. But I know. But I mean, we uh, discussed at a previous meeting that if the engineers or the applicants were not here to present their case, that we would table the motions. And I so that, and moved, that's, that's, I yes. so moved to table, though, Alina. Okay. 
Okay, this, this one, I mean, you know, I would, I would ask that you consider the fact that these zone cases are done by They're most of our taxpayers, on the floor. It's not the engineers. We did call Ms. Hernandez and she did confirm that she would be here. I don't know uh, what was the reason, but uh, this is definitely different from the preliminary plats and stuff that the engineers do. This is, you know, these are the taxpayers. And if, if this happens, that kicks them into a two week cycle. So just to keep that in, in what mind. What happens in our is that what we see, I mean, there's a, a structure there mm -hmm. and I don't see any, uh, what is any marking on the, uh, on the parking. It was uh, a restaurant before. It, it, was, it was probably a restaurant before, but uh, it seems that it's, uh, it's actually vacant right now. Um, go ahead. Were you Did trying you to say something? Yes. Um, we had met with the applicants, and um, they had came for a B1 a while back for that, for that outer lot, mm -hmm. um, but something happened. And they ended up giving the inner lot instead for that B1. So I guess there's like some type of miscommunication where they had originally came in for that B1 on that, over that outer lot, but they gave them the inner lot instead. If, I'm not sure if that makes sense. Well, no, I, can, I can see your point, but uh, again, what Commissioner <laughs> Dovalina is saying, uh, if there was an interest on it, um, what we're saying is that we want to hear the story. We want to, I mean, who's interested? And I'm sure the commission wants to do that. Uh, Commissioner Narvaez. If I may, at this point, I think, I mean, at this point, we're, we're a recommendation whether to support or not support. I think at this point, staff is showing that there is, there is pro for proper reason to um, support the zone change. And I think we should uh, vote to it and then give the, the person the opportunity to actually present themselves. I have a motion by Commissioner Dovalina to table the item. We're gonna vote on that, okay? Okay. And uh, if there's a second to table the item. I second it. Okay, we have a second. So who is in favor of tabling the item? Signify by saying aye or raising your hand. Aye. Two, three. Okay, we need, that's a, that's a majority, so we're gonna table the item. Okay, let's proceed with the, uh, with the public. Uh, and just to mention, um, mm -hmm. and, and I agree with you, Commissioner Narvaez, on this. It's just that I had a motion already on the table, and uh, with the, I need to follow up on that. Yeah. Okay. And, and, so and that it's, was, uh, it's very simple. People just need to come and discuss yes, what they... We, we, we oh. call them as a courtesy to see if they can be here, but they're not required to be here. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Now we're going to go to uh, item 6D. Amending the Senate Sorting Ordinance Map of the City of Arizona in Lot 7, Block 1019, Western Division, located at 4002 San Eduardo Avenue, Famar 2, Multifamily Residential District, to B3, Community Business District. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. For the record, we have um, Salinas and Gamez Properties LLC owner. We have Mario Gamez applicant. Juan Gamez is the representative. Property location, Lot 7, Block 1019, Western Division, located at 4002 San Eduardo Avenue. Zone changes from an R2 to a B3. Proposed use is commercial. The applicant did not identify the specific proposed commercial use. Letters sent um, were 30, and there is none for, and we have four against. Location view. Street view. Street view, zoning map, feature land use map, and the recommendation is staff support. Okay, this is a public hearing. Anybody in favor of the zone change? Anybody in favor? A favor? Mario Gamis for the record. Juan Gamis. Uh, the representative for the family. The home uh, was uh, the family home. Uh, my parents passed away. So uh, they will instruct us to sell the property. The original zoning there, when the zoning was uh, erect for the radio, 
the city zone that area, B35. Uh, all the homes in that area were zone B35. Uh, when the first business tried to move into the area, my father initiated a campaign to change the whole area to residential, but there was no participation. I guess only two, including my father, changed the, the zone to residential. And uh, what now we're trying to change it back to B3, since we have a business to the west, which is a repair shop, and we have a restaurant in front of the lot. Um, to look for a viable uh, buyer, we need to change it so that they can have options to use the property. We have the trash cans for the business across the street is right in front of our front door. When they come pick up the trash, that's where the trash, the trash, the trash gets picked up. When they come to recycle the oil, that's where the truck stops there. And uh, if it's a seafood restaurant, I mean, you can pick up the order when they're picking up uh, the oils. So, and the majority of the year, the winds are from the south. I mean, it's great during winter when you get from the north, so you don't, you don't get the odor. So we're just looking for an option for the buyers that they can use the property. Not necessarily a, a repair shop, but they can use it for any other area, maybe offices or, or something else. So that is our main reason to uh, change it back to its original zone. Okay. Okay. Anybody has a question for uh, Mr. I'm Gamis? No. No? No, you're going to close. Okay. Let me continue with the public hearing. Thank you, Mr. Gamis. Anybody in favor? In favor of song change? Anybody against the song change? Come to the podium. State your name. Okay, my name is San Juana Gamis. I'm one of the owners of that resident. Okay. Um, this has been a grandfather resident area. A lot of elderly live there. We have children. I don't know when they build this, the street. The, I don't know if it's a planning and zoning, but the street is built wrong. We have a lot of space to park. The, across the street, they park in the streets. So there's no way that we can have a commercial area because only one car can go through, especially at night. And I don't think it's safe for us to have more hazard, like more movement in that area, like to make it a commercial. So you're against? I'm against. The soul change. May I ask your, your address or which lot is yours? It's 4014 San Eduardo, but we're several people. I have you're, you're two blocks over, right? Um, two houses. Two houses. Two houses. Yes. And I have letters from other people that weren't able to make it. I don't know if I'm going to give them to Didi. Yeah, you can provide uh, them. Some people send their letters. And I don't think it's fair because one resident wants to sell commercial to get extra for their money. It's going to affect all of us that we've been there for a while. Okay. You're also part of the ownership of the property? I'm the owner of the property. Oh. Okay. No, she's at 4014. 4014, which is also oh, B3. But are you an owner in the corner property? Excuse me? Are you part owner are of you the, part yes. owner of the corner deceased. property? Of the corner property, no. No. We're related, but we're not, I'm not part owner. Oh, okay. Because I, I remember that all, all of the you, Gamis live all of your family is there. Yes, all the Gamis used to live around that area. Okay. Which, Thank you. So Anybody, the rest of the family is uh, in favor? It's very, all of the family is in I favor so. not to change. So they're against, against the change. We're against it. Yes, I'm sorry. And we're several of us here attending. And the rest of the of the of the of the family, they live with you, or they live at different places. What they I'm, all what live I'm in trying, different places. We're they all live in different okay. areas. What yes. I'm trying to do here is how they're going to be affected. 
Okay. If we if we approve the zone change, how is anybody going to be affected? Are they they live next door, close by? Okay. They they live in the corner, which is on San Eduardo and Ugarte, but they're right. currently their address is on San Eduardo. Right. And I'm talking that if you go, if I don't know if Planning Sony has gone there, there was a mistake when they built the street. Right. My area has I can park on the top. The area in front, neck, across the street, they made it shorter. Like it wasn't divided equally. So they park on the bottom. Okay. okay. So at night, only one car can go through because people are parked on the bottom. Okay. And for more, like, to have more movement in there, it's very hard. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for your comment. Anybody else against? That is not, if it's the same comment, then we will note that. But anybody against? Okay. Commissioners, anybody have a question? Anybody has? Okay. So now I'm going to ask Mr. I, Navarro. I, I'm sorry, I do have a question. Go ahead. Who, do you know who lives at 4016? You're to your left, ma'am? 4016, yes. Because that's, are they here and against? Yes. Okay. And you're the only, uh, you're the only other house, Miss Sir, if you may. Mr. Uh, the resident of 4016, the owner of 4016? Yes. Do you want his name or what? No. Like she wants him to come up to the podium. Yes. 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 Zone R2. So we have several of us that work for the 200. Please, please come up. So just, just to explain a little bit, I think I know where you're going here. Okay. Um, if you look at the, the, the um, screen, you'll see that the block that you all live on, I believe you all live on, is 1019, that, that square. The, the corner lot is the subject lot, which is the yellow one, right? And it's, it has a red line. The rest of the pink, all the, the pink lots, those are zoned business, B3. Okay. The only two lots on that block, 1019, is the yellow one at the top and the yellow one at the bottom. And those are both zoned residential two. Okay. Which means for apartments. That, that's what they can do. But all the pink is zoned for business. So if you live on this block, because you could live across the street, I'm not sure, but if you live on this block, you currently have a lot that's zoned for business. So that's where I support the business zone because the rest of the lots on that block are all business. We were under the understanding that only the houses or the uh, houses that were on Maria were business. But the other ones are 40 on um, San Eduardo or Tumba, that's not true. I know that there's a... there, but it's been there for years. And you know, they were talking about the poison, but they have a lot. That's just what I guess. What? 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 They did it back in the day, you know? But, but... Then why do they want to change their commercial? No, theirs is residential. They want to go back to match the rest of the lots. Uh, Mr. Navarro, if, if you need to come to the podium so everything can oh, be recorded okay. and state your name. And yes, that area is commercial. Even this lot that they're, requi they're requesting to change but to a no, B3 is already a B1. Yeah. Then why are they, why are they changing it to commercial? If it was commercial already. No. So it's, a, it's an R3. R2. R2. Would you, would, would, would you explain the difference between a B1 and a B3? A B1 and a B3? Yes. The, so zone, the, the lot is currently zoned a B1 right now. It's R2. It's R2. Oh, I didn't read it right. The, the appraisal district is, is possi possibly um, appraising it as a residential property, not as a commercial property. That would be a lot more expensive. So that's why they're, they're probably appraising me that way. I'm not with the appraisal district, but 
possibly. Now, the only Mr. Gomez, uh, it's Gomez, sir, that he came up to explain that his father, back in the day, um, he zoned it R2. It went from B3 to, to R2. Now they're trying to go back to the B3, which is matching the rest of the block. The neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I lived there 16 years. 16 years. 16 years. Right. Yeah. So we're mm -hmm. Why would you be changed? The only uh, reason I think is when I thirty five was put in, they rezoned all that area. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I think uh, we already heard enough about it. Thank you uh, on the public hearing. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the public hearing so the commission can vote as to what they, the wishes are as to this item, okay? okay. So, so we're not adding anything else. What you told us know? already that it's on record, okay? So now we're gonna, the commission is gonna vote whether they approve the B3 or not. Anybody has questions? Yeah, Mr. I just wanna let the, the residents near the area know that we only make a recommendation Okay. The final decision will be at city council. So whether we vote in favor or against, you still have an opportunity to discuss your issues, if any, at the city council meeting. Well, we're just concerned with the city. Understood. With everybody, you know, okay. yeah. it's a, a lot of pedestrians cross there to go to, to HAB or Dr. Ryan. Understood. That's all we are concerned. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. okay. okay. I'm going to go ahead and close the. Uh, the public hearing, and uh, I would like to have a motion either to approve or not approve. Commissioner, what are the wishes of the commission? Um, uh, I move to support staff recommendation. For the second, though, Alina. Okay, I have um, a motion and a second. All in favor signify by that's to approve the B3. Anybody signifying aye will be for it. We're going to vote. Aye. Aye. Oh, the ayes have it. Okay. I'll be, uh, I'm against. You're against. Okay. Commissioner Barron is against for the record. Now we're going to go to 6E. Amending the zone north map of the city of Laredo by rezoning lot 1, block 1104 Western Division, located at 120 Houston Street, from B1 Limited Business District to B3. Community Business District. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. For the record, we have Eva Estrada and Juan um, Estrada owner, and we have Eva Estrada as applicant. Property location, not one, block 1104 Western Division, located at 120 Houston Street. We have a zone change request from a B1 to a B3. Proposed use is commercial. The applicant did not identify the specific proposed commercial use. Letter sent um, was 24. We have none against and none for. Location view. Street view. Another street view. Zoning map. Air, um, future land use map. And the recommendation is staff supports and the proposed motion. Okay. This is the public hearing. Anybody in favor of the zone change? Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Eda Estrada. Hoy en día, junto con mi hermano, nosotros somos dueños de esta propiedad. Por muchos años, Nosotros hemos tenido nuestro negocio ahí, que es negocio familiar. Eh, después de la pandemia quisimos rentarlo y resulta que nadie puede rentarlo porque era residencial. Platicando yo con las personas de Planning Department, me dice, ¿por qué no lo cambia? Hay una infinidad de, de, de negocios que se pueden hacer ahí porque está rodeado de negocios. La única cosa que tiene es cambiarlo. Y yo comentándole le dije, ¿y por qué a mí nunca me negaron la licencia si yo tuve un lote de carros con mi padre y mi abuelo por 35 años? Entonces él me dice, es que tú tienes el um, grandpa right. Dice, pero si tú te sales, ya no puedes hacer nada. 
yo te recomiendo que lo cambies y por eso estoy aquí. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Anybody has a question for Ms. Estrada? Thank you, Ms. Estrada. Yes. Anybody else in favor of the song change? Anybody against the song change? Good afternoon, Chairman Dominguez, honorable members, staff. My name is Guadalupe Cepeda. I'm a resident at 217 Victoria, which is around the corner from 120 Houston. I'm here to vote against this zoning change. And the reason being, it, our neighborhood is a very old neighborhood. The streets are extremely small. The few businesses that we already have there established, we can't get out of our neighborhood. And guess what? Victoria is a one way going down to the creek. So I've got to turn on San, Eduardo, I mean San Leonardo to get out of my, my area. Houston is a high traffic area. So there's times I can't even go through the street. My other concern is if a fire department needs to come around or an ambulance, guess what? They can't because the few businesses that are there are blocking because unfortunately one of the business that has opened up there he doesn't have any parking for his employees, much less for if any customer needs to go visit him. Same at 120 uh, Houston, which is the zoning change. It used to be a car lot. Well, guess what? Everybody would park on the street to go see the cars, and we can't get out. So that's my reasoning. I know my neighbors are here also to go to ask you to vote against it. Thank you. Thank you, you Ms. Cepeda. Do you have any questions for me? Anybody has questions for me? What is the street that goes one way? Uh, Victoria goes one way going. No, it's either San Enrique east. or San San Enrique is uh, going um, one way, one way north, going north. north. <clears throat> and San Leonardo is one way going Wait, south. south. Are they both paved? Yes, they're both paved. They didn't used to. But there's no parking for the little houses that are there. And each house has three or four cars to be in with. So it's kind of hard to get out in the morning. Uh, you know, I've tried to, I sometimes I go against the law and go up Victoria in order to be get, able to get out. The P PD is there watching us as well. So, okay. Thank, Thank you, you Ms. Apeo. Señor, the record, your name, tus nombres, tu Eva Estrada. Uh -huh. Por 35 años nosotros hemos estado ahí, es un negocio de ¿Cuánto? familia. ¿Cuánto? 35 años he tenido un lote de carros, es un negocio de familia, desde mi abuelo, mi padre, ahora yo. Y toda mi entrada es por la calle Houston. Yo no uso casi, yo no uso la San Leonardo. La calle Victoria es para atrás. Y, y, es, va y, y, y termina con un arroyo que está ahí. No, no le veo yo eh, problemas de parqueadero porque yo no uso la, la, la San Leonardo. Mi, toda mi entrada en la Houston y por 35 años he estado ahí y es negocio de familia. Ok, thank you for that. Go ahead. Yes, could she operate uh, legally through a condition use permit and remain at 81? Is she going to apply for one yet? Yeah? Um, uh, she has to leave. Go ahead. You're in favor, you're against. Is that in contra? Okay. You're against? Yeah, he is. Okay, go ahead. What's uh, your name, sir? Uh, my, my family residence is on two, uh, 201 Victoria, 210 Victoria, 209 Victoria, sorry. 209 Victoria, we lived there for 20 years, 34 years. We grew up in that neighborhood. The problem that we have right now is that Victoria is a one way street going all the way to the creek. And Rick is a, is a street going across before my 200 block. So when we're going uh, south, north, 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 and south. And then, and then the only block, the only street that you have going out that you can get out of that neighborhood is going through San Leonardo. San Leonardo is a very narrow street. It's very limited uh, in, in traffic. And then you have to get, face the traffic from Houston coming down the bridge. And there's a, a, a large amount of traffic coming down the bridge sometimes. You have to wait around to, to you, you cannot go across the bridge, uh, across the Houston because there's a lot of traffic. So you have to turn, make a right turn, and then come back around San Enrique. 
for great, uh, a, a safety factor for the, for the whole neighborhood. Uh, uh, emergency vehicles need to get in there. Uh, and we are blocked on, on Houston, you're blocked on, on Victoria. So there's no way you can eat uh, in that, that area. So for that reason, for the safety reason and, and the traffic flow, uh, if you've been in that area, the traffic flow, once you come off the bridge, it's real fast, fast moving traffic. And for the people that live in that area, it's very difficult for them to access uh, uh, Matamoros Street. And then you want to go to Matamoros, you cross. It's very difficult to cross. So that's why we're opposed to it. And the, the, uh, the business is already limited business, so I don't know what the expense is all about. But, uh, Thank you for your comment. Anybody else against with a different comment? Uh, I just want to say very clearly, I'm against the song change. What was your name, sir? Looking uh, at the possibility of making it easier for the community there to be to access and exit from that area by making them a three pit, uh, as it's a three pit or, uh, so that we can exit to San Enrique easier. How long have you owned your house? I've owned my house since I was born. <laughs> well, I don't want you to tell us your age. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your comment. Go ahead. What's your name? Okay, my name is Maria Elena Star. I just want to reiterate what they've been saying. And uh, we're families that we have been established here for years and years. All right, we don't want to say how many, but um, I want to say a good 90, 80, if not more, uh, years. And it does impact a lot of the neighbors there because there's still a lot of houses. Many are rental properties. Many are owned by the people. But nevertheless, it creates a tremendous danger. There's a bottleneck, as they've stated, when we try to get out, in and out. And I just don't think that putting more commercial properties there um, is just going to make it a lot worse. You have to understand, and I do know that you know that uh, the streets are very narrow. They're not made for you know all of this traffic out there. And um, we've had, I know, several accidents right there at that corner. And I know at one time somebody was killed. And again, you just have to like think about these things. And I don't think that having more businesses there is a good idea. Because again, there's families with children, elderly, and I just don't think it's a, a good idea, plain and simple as that. Okay. Is there Thank somebody you. from traffic? I'm sorry? No, I'm, I'm oh, talking. No, I hate to interrupt today. But uh, I want to make a comment, uh, commissioners. Uh, I think uh, the residents uh, have uh, the right about the streets, but those streets have been like that for ever, 50 years, 60 years. And also, Estrada, not to side with anybody, not to side with anybody, the Estradas have been there, that business have been there for maybe 30 or 40 years. So um, I think that to, to mention that, uh, that it impacts uh, in a negative way would not be very appropriate. But at the same time, what uh, the way the comments from the residents are also true. Okay. And so this I, commission- May I make a comment? Yes. This commission will, will only make a recommendation. I understand. Go ahead, Ms. Bell. And, and I understood Ms. Ms. Estrada, her, her concern that she's been there over 35 years. Yes, ma'am. But she doesn't live there. That is correct. So we live there day in and day out. The property I live in has been in my family for over 100 years. Okay. So we deal with getting in and out. So I wanted to address her concern. Oh, you, uh, Commissioner uh, yeah. Narvaez has a question. Yes. Okay. yes, for staff. So looking, okay. looking at the Thank you. Looking at this, uh, yes, we can go to the map, please. Can we make a motion to just, uh, close the public hearing and then have discussion? Yeah. Make a motion make to close the public hearing. Anybody else in favor or against? 
Again? Go ahead. One more time. And then I'll close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Entiendo la preocupación de los vecinos que dicen que las calles están así, ¿verdad? Pero ellos están hablando de calles que están dos o tres calles atrás de mí y mi entrada es por la Houston, que es, es una, una calle, calle muy calle. amplia, muy amplia, y que ya tengo 35 años ahí, y que cuando esas calles que están atrás de mí están planeadas desde hace 50, 60 años, okay. que no las planeé, cuando yo llegué ahí ya estaban así. Y por 35 años no, no nunca hemos molestado absolutamente a nadie. Porque el parking lot es muy grande y todo el mundo entra por la cruz. Okay. I have a question for you, Mrs. Stana. Are you closing the auto shop and opening something else? Por favor, Mrs. Stana. ¿Está cerrando uh, la venta de carros y va a abrir a otro negocio? Perdón. ¿Está cerrando el negocio por eso, o sea, con, por el cambio de la zona? No, yo me bajé mucho mi negocio con la pandemia. Y entonces fue cuando me di cuenta que mi negocio era, la, la, la propiedad de mis abuelos y mis padres era residencial. Y entonces eh, son, eh, son de par de par me dijo, cámbialo. No es residencial, es B1. Ah, ahorita. B1. So, pero si ha estado en el negocio por 35 años, yo no entiendo por qué la ciudad le había dicho. It was legal before. Yeah, so why is she here for example? Because she closed. So you lose, you lose oh, a little bit of money. Oh, she was grandfather? Yes. But she closed crazy. What triggers her? Was she a B1 or not? Yes. B1. She's currently a B1. As a car lot for the 35 years. She, so, so she was grandfathered. Is is the auto sales allowed her to B1? No. No, it, the auto sale That's requires a B3. That was my question. I'm going to recognize Commissioner Narvaez. He has a question. So okay. looking at the zoning map, I see the majority of the lots on in the area are B1. And there's, right. there's, a, there's two, that, or there's one that's across the cat corner is B3. Um, what I see here, or and I guess a, a um, sort of a compromise in which protects the, the residents as well is, um, is possibly a conditional use permit where she remains a B1, yet if she complies to whatever um, rules or, or, or you set forth, then it's a possibility. Let me close the public yeah. here. Gracias. Yes. Now I'm going to close the public hearing. Motion to close the public hearing. So just uh, if you look at the zone, if we can go to the zone map. Can, uh, can we make the motion? Let me, let me go ahead and I close the motion. public hearing. So motion to close the public hearing. Second. Okay. Discussion. In favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So uh, if you look at the zone map, you'll see that, that there's a lot of pink, right? Yes. It's all businesses. Houston Street is considered Highway 83. Okay. So in... When we're looking at it from, does it meet the criteria for B3? It meets the criteria. Now, um, that no other business can go in there. Currently, if somebody has a B1 type business and would like to go here and they buy one of these lots, they can open up without coming to PNZ. Okay, so this, this area has been designated business. Fronting Houston, Fronting Houston, which is Highway 83. Okay, so you you were you were asking. Go ahead. No, so he so you pretty much okay. I'm fine. So you're done. Yeah, Commissioner Barron. Um, no, I uh, just across the street. There's a car uh, there's a business car uh, for sales right across the street. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, entertain a motion, either to approve or to deny. Motion okay. to go with staff recommendation. Okay. There's a motion by Commissioner Barron to approve. Anybody seconds that motion? Okay, there's no second, so the motion dies. Will somebody else make a motion? You want to make your motion for the condition? Oh, well, I'll make a motion to deny the B3 zone and recommend the owner to apply for a conditional use permit. That would be up to the yeah. to the applicant. Yeah. Okay, Did you call her, you want to call her up to see if she wants to? Yeah, we're, 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 I don't think that's necessary. No? Okay. Okay, so we have a motion Second. by Commissioner Wang that. No one is. And Dovalina. That's a second. We had a second. Okay, so we have a, a motion and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. So the, you got all the information as to what we're going to do. Uh, we'll just explain to her that the next 
you want to do if that? she wants to, or if she wants to um, go forward with this, mm -hmm. okay, then I'll go forward to City Council. She has that option also. Can you just make her? Yes. Thank you. That was okay. Now we're going to go to 6F, amending the Sony ordinance map of the city of Rado by authorizing the issuance of a plan, a PUD. Was that going to be table? Uh, uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, I received an email today that uh, they asked if we can table this item. Okay. Um, Motion to table the item. Second. That was the Commissioner Barron. Second. Second. Second, Commissioner. By one. All in favor, seeing the favor, say aye. 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 Okay, now it's 6G, amending the zone urgent map of the city of Laredo, Arizona, approximately 39.67 acres, 1.9 acres out of the remaining portion of 26.61 acre tracks conveyed to MRMD Development Company, Limited Liability Company. Volume 4612, pages 402 to 407. Welcome Fish and Public Records and 13.52 acres out of uh, a 13.58 acre track conveyed to MRD, MRMD Development Company Limited Liability Company, volume 4225, page 242. Well, County Official pub Public also being out of portion 34, Jose A. Diaz, original grantee. Outcrack 762, City of Laredo, Webb County, Texas, and 24.15 acres out of 478.22 acres, track four, Convey to Cuatro Vientos South, limited recording in volume, 4225 pages 242 to pages 256, Webb County Official Public Records, situated in portion 34, Astro 762, Webb County, Texas. Located east of Cuatro Vientos Road and south of Concord Hills Boulevard from AG, Agricultural District to R1A, Single Family Reduced District. Okay, this, uh, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. For the record, we have the applicant, Cuatro Viento South LTD and, MR and MRMD Development Company owners, and we have Ricardo Vieira um, representative. Property location, approximately 39.67 acres, located east of Cuatro Vientos Road and south of Concord Hills Boulevard. Don't, don't change request AG to R1A. Proposed use is residential. Letter sent with seven, none for, and none against. Location view. Aerial view. Street view. Zoning map. Feature land use map. And the recommendation is staff supports. And the proposed motion. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Public hearing, all in favor? Go ahead. Hey, Mr. Chairman, members of the commission, Ricardo Villarreal representing the owners. Um, we are in favor of the zone change and now I'm here to answer any questions that you may have. Any of the commissioners have questions for Mr. Villarreal? Thank you, Mr. Villarreal. Okay. Anybody close. against? I'm gonna close the public hearing. Move to close the public hearing. There's a motion to close public hearing. Second. Second by Barron, all in favor say five by saying aye. 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 Move to approve the Valina. Second. It's a motion for, to approve and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, now we're going to go to 6H. Amending the Southern Oregon map of the city of Laredo, Arizona, approximately 19.84 acre track of land out of 53.40 acre track of land out of the track of land conveyed to L91 BC Properties Limited Liability Company, a Florida limited liability company as described in the Deed recorded in volume 4430, pages 282 to 289. Official public records, Webb County, Texas, and containing 53.40 acres of land and being situated in portion 28 East E. Martinez, Outcrack 241, Webb County, Texas, located south of East Saunders Street and west of Buffalo Loop from an R1A single family reviews area district to R1B. Single family high density district. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. For the record, applicant is L91 Properties LLC, Edward Reckelheimer, um, the third. They're the owner applicant. Fellow Consulting LLC, Oscar Castillo, PE, is the representative. Property location is approximately 19.84. 
Acres, located south of East Saunders Street and west of Babula Loop. The zone change request is an R1A single family reduced area district to an R1B single family high density district. The proposed use is residential. Letter sent 10 4 0 against 0. Okay. Location view. Aerial view. Street view. Zoning overview. Feature land use. And staff recommendations. Staff supports the proposed zone change. Okay, you support the Proposed hearing? motion. Thank you. Anybody in favor? For the record, your name? Uh, Rudy Santillan. Good evening. Thank you, Mr. Santillan. Go ahead. Sure. Members of the commission. Uh, we're uh, four in favor for the approval of the zone change for this property. Anybody have a question for Mr. Santillan? Thank you, Mr. Santillan. Uh, oh, go ahead. When you, there, there's been a problem lately on R1BA related to the width of the streets and the fact that the citizens are asking for the streets to be wider because you're basically doing streets that are back to back 30 and you end up with uh, cars parked on the street and it reduces the area to a 10 foot lane. And so they, there's a concern about the streets, whether emergency vehicles can even access these units. Do you plan to uh, make 30 foot back to back streets? Uh, is, it, is it 31 back to back? 31 back to back. Well, that's what the problem is. Yes, in fact, um, uh, we had a discussion about this, uh, possibly bringing back that zone so that we could review it because um, basically the engineers will be doing what is the, what the land development code requires them to do, the, the minimums. But to the interest of what you're talking about, it would be best if we can bring back that zone <coughs> and reevaluate it. And if there's any adjustments that need to be made that we could, we can potentially uh, recommend these these changes Amendments. and then run them to the city council yeah. that will be on the planning process i guess yeah oh. for him yes how how soon are you planning to build your development um honestly right now uh we're we're unsure of, of how uh, how fast yeah. okay any more questions did that uh, answer your question yeah anybody question no okay thank you mr santia thank you Okay, this is a public hearing. Anybody against? Okay, I'm gonna close the public hearing. Motion to close public hearing and go with staff recommendation. Second. Second that advice. Okay. So you're making a motion to, to approve? approve? Go with staff. Yeah. Okay, second motion. Second advice. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Against. You're against? Okay, we have one against, Commissioner. I'm against one. because of the width of the street and I'm um, fearful that some accident is going to happen. Um, okay, that should be noted. And if we're going to revisit the code, I suggest we revisit it at the, the next meeting. As a matter of fact, uh, Commissioner Dovelina, uh, once uh, we, uh, we close the public hearings and uh, before the adjournment, I will make uh, a request that, uh, that this type of R1B be revisited by this commission. Okay, so we have that taken care of. Now we have 6i, amending the soil knowledge map of the city of Laredo, Arizona, approximately 1.69 acre tract of land out of 53.40 acre tract of land out of tract of land conveyed to L91 BC Property Limited Liability Company of Florida. Limited Liability Company as described in this recorded in volume 4430 pages 282 to 289 official public records. Webb County, Texas and containing 53.40 acres of land and being situated in portion 28 in Martinez Abstract 241. Webb County, Texas located south of East Sunder Street and Webb a bubble loop from R1A single family reuse district to B3 community business district. This is a public hearing. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. For the record, applicant is L91 Properties, LLC, Albert Beckenheimer III is the owner applicant. 
uh, Bella Consulting, Oscar's Castillo PE is a representative. Um, property description location, um, it's approximately 1.69 acres located south of East Saunders Street and west of Bob Left Loop. The zone change request is from an R1A single family reduced area district to a B3 community business district. The proposed use is commercial. The applicant is, um, has not identified what the specific proposed commercial use is. Letter sent for six or zero against zero. Location view. Aerial map. Street view. Zoning overview. Future land use. The staff recommendation staff does not support the proposed zone change. The proposed motion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. It's a public hearing. Anybody in favor of the zone change? Uh, Rudy Santiago, for the record. The record. Uh, in favor for the zone change. Okay. Was there, um, Mr. Chairman? Uh, yes, sir. I had talked to uh, one of the engineers from this project, uh, Mr. Castillo. Um, there was, we asked if, if there was any consideration to maybe go to B1 and that we would support that. Um, but uh, I guess he was going to go back to the developers to ask if, if that would be something that they would like. But I guess they didn't. Let me um, go ahead and close the public hearing. Yes, sir, of course. Look at that. Thank you, Mr. Santillan. Thank well, you. I had a question for him. Go ahead. There's yeah, a question. Can, Commissioner can, can, we, can we put the map back up that showed the different zoning? I just want a clarification and get figure out where we're at. Okay, so so north of the property is is Saunders, correct? Yeah. So how how far and what's over here on the right side is that's Loop Twenty. So your your property is where the Asmussen, um, I guess compound is, or or because that there's a roadway that connects to that area, right? Yeah. It gets yeah. to that spot. As, so so north of you, I I see there's a B three and a B four. Is that right? Um, do you guys have access, or do you guys own the, does the property owner own the property north of you of that B3? Uh, currently, no, 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 no. And so you, different owner. the different owner, the one who has access to Saunders uh, and to do? Exactly. Yeah. The north uh, portion, the, the north area is, is a different owner. Okay. So this is just your area there. Exactly. Okay. Right. So you own everything in green? Actually, it's the uh, the parcel hatched in red, and then uh, uh, the uh, R one area. So, so nothing towards nothing Saunders. north of, of the of the yellow. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. Any more questions? Where was the R one B that we just appro approved compared to this? To the left. R one A. That where it says R one A. The previous item that came to us was to just to the left, right? right. Okay. Okay. Um, Commissioner Barron. Yeah, I just was, this is a question for staff. Knowing that it's a high traffic area, you have two major thoroughfares in this corner, um, and a B four. More than sure that corner has been talked about an H E B developing there or some big box development. Um, you know, I, I I'm surprised there's still residential being considered here, but I'm just curious to know. Why the, the recommendation not to allow a B3? Okay, uh, Commission, uh, just a comment from my colleague. Um, th th actually, yeah, the owner does own the north section of. of okay. Uh, so if he does own that, then he Saunders? could build right now. On Saunders, right. So you do have, the owner does own access. So right now he could build something on B3 and utilize that area as parking if he'd Correct. like. Just came to my attention now. Uh, now, if for whatever reason the commission does not support uh, the approval, uh, we're willing to to move down to, to the B1 if that's what. Uh, Saunders does have a median, doesn't it? I'm sorry. Saunders has a median at that point. Yes, it. Does. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. so, would you would you know why the recommendation for not a, not approving or not a recommending the B3? So the so the B3. It's for a uh, it's it's for a bigger region. This particular piece of property is towards the inside, next to a residential. Our our thought process in this development was if this was a B one, this could be stuff that can complement the the R one B. Yeah. 
uh, whether it be a cell phone, little restaurant, tacos, whatever, in that area, not the frontage of, of the, not to the, serve the frontage, but to serve this area. Typically, a B3 service is a bigger area. We, right. I didn't feel this would. But it could be continuous to what they already own. Absolutely. The, the current B3. Absolutely. Yeah. What we have, since they own the B3, we're stepping down to a B1. And it seems uh, that they want to build the uh, multifamily on that, on those two acres, less than two acres. So I think that's one of the reasons that uh, that staff is uh, is re, uh, also recommending yeah. the B one, right. so they can actually continue with their with their multifamily. What they can they build in two, in two acres? So right. I think uh, a B one would be appropriate. Thank you, Mr. Santiago. Thank you. Yes, and that's that's correct because there was talk about doing apartments. So B one will allow them to do apartments or uh, service commercial to the R one B neighborhood if they needed to. Did, okay. Did he agree to the B one? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. I'll go ahead and close the public. I'll make a motion to close the public hearing and go against staff recommendation. Second. 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 Go for it. I thought they just agreed to go to B1. That you, you have the authority to uh, oh, recommend right. B1. I, I agree with the B3. Was, this is oh, what the applicant gotcha. has asked oh, for. Gotcha. So, but I mean, if you agree to B1, I'm fine. But I'll, I'll make the motion to, in my, in my mind, I, I don't see why it shouldn't okay. be allowed. Okay. Well, but so we have a motion. You. To close the public hearing, which we have, and he has a motion to approve B three to go against B three to go yeah to go okay. to go with Do the I have B3 a second of what they to approve the B three? I second the B three. Okay, I um, have a, a motion and a second for the B three. Okay, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Those against. Aye. Commissioner Lovalina. Your four. four. Commissioner Dovalina is against, so four. it's a. It, it will be a B three. Okay. Okay. He agreed to the B one. I follow the motion, Mr. Dovalina. I know. That's okay. okay. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Thank yes. you. Okay. So let's continue. It's going to be a, a six J, amending yes. the ordinance of the city of Laredo authorizing the issue of a special use permit for a communication tower on lot eight, block one ten Western Division. Located at 511 Houston Street. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. For the record, we have Jesus Gonzalez, owner, and Inova Data Solutions um, as the applicant. Property location we have lot 8, block 110, Western Division, located at 511 Houston Street. Special um, zone change request is a special use permit for a communication tower. Proposed use is a communication tower. Letter sent is 23. We had none for, but we had one against. Location view. Aerial view. Street view. Zone map. Featured land use map. And the recommendation is staff does not support. Okay. The public hearing. Are you in favor of the zone change? Actually, it's a special use permit. Okay. Yes, yes sir. Evening. My name is Jesus Gonzalez. I'm an owner of Inova Data Solutions and I'm requesting a special permit to install a communication tower in my property. And um, as you all are aware, that district, that area between San Francisco and San Eduardo from the uh, Iturbide all the way north to Corpus Christi, it is what I call a communication cluster. Very important for the city of Laredo and internationally for all the communication that goes from the US into Mexico and worldwide. Uh, from this area, you can you know, connect, you have fiber optic laid down the ground on both uh, San Eduardo and San Francisco, all the way from the bridge to Corpus Christi. And there's a lot of uh, communication uh, buildings there, there's behind our property, all, all that those uh, 10 lots, no, five lots in, in the back are owned by BTX Communications. And we have fiber optic connected to them on the, uh, on the, the premises there. And uh, we are a wireless internet service provider for the Laredo area. So we hold internet service uh, to the residential areas and also to commercial. Our basis, our network 
is to provide backup services uh, on the commercial area. We have towers around Laredo, on the skirts and industrial parks, on the highway 15, uh, 359. On 59, we cover all the Ranchitos areas, and we are very successful. Uh, I have an experience of 38 years in Laredo as uh, running telecommunication businesses here. And uh, that's what I bought that property, to you know, make it a better place for the, all the Laredoans and uh, have another choice uh, from the big companies to provide internal service at a low cost. And I'm requesting that permit so we can call uh, via wireless services through the downtown area and also to install microwave shots from that tower all the way to our other towers uh, up to eight miles on the skirts of Laredo, north and uh, east side. Sierra Faith. And I've been doing business and growing here in Laredo for 38 years. Okay. Any, anybody has a question for Mr. Connected to the bridge? Excuse me? Are you connected with a cable to the bridge into Mexico? No, I'm connected to BTX, uh, to two different providers uh, via fiber optic. We have a primary connection to uh, Cogen Communications located inside the BTX uh, co location there behind us, and also to Level 3, which is another national company. Cogen Communications is, uh, is a national, international company, they're based in Canada. But they have fiber optic cluster uh, and BTX Laredo, where they haul a lot of um, communication between Canada, U.S., and Mexico. Also, Level 3 is the same. It's a U.S. company uh, and also uh, has fiber optic uh, that goes to Laredo and all the way to the Valley, Houston, and uh, go back to San Antonio and go back to Laredo. So most of the companies have loops of fiber to provide communication and interconnection you know, to many big uh, international carriers. So that area of Laredo is a very important cluster, you know, really important that we need to take care of. I realize that because it was done when I was here as city manager. Yeah. That's right, Mr. Lodi. Okay. And that's what I look at. Okay. okay, Mr. Gonzalez. Uh, are you, cur you currently have an antenna there or a tower there? There's one now, right now? The what? You're asking for, it, it, the communication asks that, um, uh, communication tower yeah. is it already there at this no, property it's not, it's not there I'm, okay I'm trying to you're asking for it to get it on this yes. site okay and around my, my property there's a uh, businesses it's a uh, it's a business area and 90% um, of the uh, lots in that block is commercial just 10% uh, is residential right on the corner on the east side have you had a chance to look at the staff's comments on your proposal or your, your request like what they're recommending? Uh, well, they've recommended that. But like the other comments that they suggested, they had like 14 comments or something, 16 comments for this. I don't know if you had a chance to, to look at it. No. Okay. okay. Do, we, do we know who the owner is that uh, is against? The one that Indeed. was against was the one on. Um, it was on Matamoro Street. It was on the corner of Matamoro Street. How far away? I don't know if they can pull up the maps. How far away is it? It's on the block behind. So it's not within the 75% uh, setback? It's the one located in Matamoro. 5, 510? This way. This way. No. 501. 501 Matamoro. 501. Okay. Um, so it's not within the 75% of the height? It's farther away. Do, a question for staff. Do all communications towers require a special use permit? Yes. 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 So it, it doesn't matter the zone? Or does it also require certain zoning? No? No. No, no just a special use permit. What I see is use. that what I see is that even if we were to approve it, they will not comply with the minimum requirements of a tower in that area. So is that, is that am I correct, uh, Mr. Navarro? That's why we put that in there. It's it's very structured to yes, sir. The, the construction of it okay. uh, to the ordinance. Okay. Let me continue with the public hearing, uh, Mr. Gonzalez, so and, uh, and we'll go ahead and revisit. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so anybody against the special use permit. 
Okay. You can. You can. Okay. So, what are the wishes of the commission? I need to close the public hearing. Hi. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. So Sorry. now, the uh, what I see, uh, I can sympathize with uh, with Mr. Gonzalez as far as uh, he buying the property and uh, and trying to place a uh, a tower there. But I also look at the uh, at the comments from staff and. Uh, According to the comments, it will not comply with the minimum requirements of a tower being in the uh, in that residential area, even if even if it's if it's a building the uh, the uh, commercial zone also as uh, Mr. Gonzalez mentioned. So that's only a comment, so the commission can uh, can make the right decision as to whether the the special use permit is approved or not. So I'm going to go ahead and ask for a motion either to approve or deny the special use permit. I, I realize the importance of the tower, but on its face, it goes against what we have in place. And so until would be somehow motion? that is corrected, I, I wouldn't be able to vote in favor of the motion. So, so I, I motion to deny. Second. Okay, I have a motion and a second to deny the uh, special use permit. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. The ayes have it. Okay, now I'm going to move to item number seven, the review and consideration of the following master plan. A, review of the revision of the Rodriguez Ranch master plan, the intent is residential, multifamily, and commercial. The purpose of the revision is to reconfigure phases. Mr. Chairman, for the record, applicant is Rodriguez Ranch um, engineer is Holland Engineering and Surveying. Proposed use is residential, multifamily, and commercial. The zoning for this 1,957 lot development is zone R1A, and a portion is located outside the city limits, but within the extra territorial jurisdiction. Location view. Aerial view. The proposed uh, revision of the master plan. Comments from planning. Traffic safety. And the proposed motion. All right. Good yes, morning, Mr. Chairman, commissioners, uh, Miguel Jimenez, my name for the record, uh, representing our client. Uh, and we concur with staff with, with the comments provided for the master plan. Uh, I do want to clarify one comment by traffic department. Um, traffic comment number eight. It's, it, it does read that it says Juan Escutia, which is one of the roads that we're extending, right, off of the current development, uh, to just that it's identified in the thoroughfare plan as a major arterial. Uh, we don't think that's the case. Um, traffic did mention to check with staff, with planning staff, just to verify that. And I just want to make sure that we're on record in agreement. Um, we did check that that major arterial doesn't punch through to our development. Uh, San Isidro development did extend it as an 80 foot, which is a collector. And we're just continuing the same section as, as the existing road. Um, so I just want to check if, if, plan, if planning That's concurs correct. with that. That's correct. Yes. And You're good. Yes. So you want to eliminate uh, comment number eight, or are we going to go ahead and leave it, and then he can, uh, he can, uh, we can, we can eliminate it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can hash it up, saying that they're in agreement. Okay. Thank you, sir. I, I had a, some go questions. Ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Chairman. Okay, so that was my question on, on the, on um, Simon Bolivar, um, Juan Escutia? Escutia. Yeah. Escutia and Crespello Drive. Those intersections um, are, are going to continue as the current right of way that's there, right? Is that correct? So they're, you're saying they're 80. The continuation of the development will be 80 on those on those roadways. Correct. Just the the the, the thing here was that Juan Escutia starts as a 90. It starts as a major arterial when it connects to what is it international, 
but then after a, an intersection, which I forgot what intersection, then it got reduced to 80, and we're just, when it hits our development, it's an 80, it's a collector. We're just extending a collector. Okay. okay. Now, um, the next question is, is um, this is a revision of the master plan. When was it brought to the commission as the first time? Uh, when we submitted the first phase, I, I can't, I don't remember the date exactly, but it was in 2020. Oh, 2020. 20, 2020, so. Has any development happened here of any of these phases? Phase one is about to be completed. So once it's completed within the next couple of months, we should be recording it and we would be starting off phase two, which is why we're submitting this master plan. It was requested as part of our submittal for phase two. And the only, this is for staff, the only consideration that I would have is, um, is a connection to north of this master plan, like um, as far as to getting to the high school, um, to United, right? Like I, I, don't, I guess it would be United Avenue. I don't know if that eventually would connect to this development or how, you, how these, this is a outside 600 acre development. How are these folks, students going to be able to get to, to United High School through, through Simon and uh, the Juan Street? There is a roadway outside the property line to the north. Mm -hmm. There is a road, an east-west road that's going to run there. But it's, it's just not, not in, in there. Not in this master plan. Not in this master plan. It, it goes with the master plan. To, when that comes in, it'll come in with the other. So let's just say properties the Properties to the, to the east mm -hmm. would, they would have to get on, on, um, on what roadway to get to that street? On, um, on Champions Way? Is you, that, oh, or is that right? Oh, was that the owners to the east? That like for future development on the east of our boundary? Right, right. Like We're, if they wanted to go north, okay. is Champion Way the only roadway that goes north? Right, in our development, north south that connects into north and the south. Yes, in our development, yes. Uh, we are the the roads are Juan Escutia, Simon Bolivar, and Crepusculo connect to the west to the other roads that go north as well. Right, I, I just feel that. Another connection going north, south and north would be would be a good idea for this development, just because um, to help flow go go through through this development. And the other thing, uh, uh, Mr. Navarro, is, is 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 would we consider continuing um, the last street? I'm sorry, it's, it's it's small. We have a small master plan, so I can't really see. But the last roadway that goes east to west is. Um, is that right? Pluscolo. I know that roadway. Does it come in um, from San Isidro, like south of of Loop Twenty? Like, is is that roadway? Okay. It loops towards the south, and then and then it would dead end. In other words, on um, onto this point here. Like, how how long is that roadway continuously? To the west. To the to the south, as it or it's going west here, right? Yes. And and it dead ends. This bottom one dead ends here. But I'm asking, yeah. how far does this roadway come this way? It as far the as this loop. That's the that's the road that hits the loop and allows access from the loop. That's the first access from the south. If you're going south to north, right. that's the first access to San Isidro on the loop. And now that's that access. You can continue to cross the loop and go south into San Isidro from. No. From, from that roadway? Or no. No? This is right across from Playmore. Is. Right, right. There's a median. It doesn't cross. There's a median there. Oh, I see, I see. But, okay. So, would, would the consideration be to have another connection going uh, east to west with that street? Or is, does the city feel that those two connections are good enough already, the ones north of it? I'm talking about these, these main ones, these east, east to west. Yes. Based on the on the future thoroughfare plan, um, there, there, we it does show only two roads going east to west and to, to allow for further development to the east, and we feel that we're providing those two through Juan Escutia and Simón Bolívar. As far as the separation, the, the distances are, are fine. Now, that doesn't mean that we're not concerned about the development to the north, making yeah. sure that road gets in, and the development to the south because yes, this road shows that it's going to poke out, but we would really like to see that poke out sooner than later. So there, so there is discussions that we're talking about to try to to uh, talk to those landowners 
to get them on page because it's not just this, you know, yeah, this master plan. You also we have to look at the one south and north. Right. We are in discussion right. with those landlords. To, to see what the adjacent property is going to do, I'm saying, would it, wouldn't it be a good idea to connect this street as well? So they can have access east to west as well. Like the more connections we can have east to west, the the, the better for for traffic flow for the future, right? In other words, whatever other developments end up coming from from the from the east. That one was going to come out, but it was going to curve to the north and and be very close to Simon Boulevard. Correct. So so what we did is we we had it to stop. And if you can see on this ma the major thoroughfare plan, the traffic department is is requesting um, roundabouts. So this is a neighborhood that we're going to try to put in roundabouts that's going to have traffic flow a little bit better. Not the, I know that what you're going to say about roundabout because we have one, but it's going to be a little bit different. They're working on that design, uh, the traffic's working with them, but we have them bringing in a road into the neighborhood so people can get in and out. But we stopped it there because like I said, if it were to go through, there'd be a, a major bridge here and then it curves up and touches Bolivar, which doesn't really make uh, sense. Is there a master plan already for the Are you talking property? about the There's, the thing that's on San Isidro Parkway or what? Better. <laughs> Not that. We couldn't get worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah. We're we're. we're uh, Traffic's working with the engineer on yes. that. And that, that came directly from traffic. So we that was one of their comments to implement roundabouts here at the main intersection. So I mean, we're willing to do to work with traffic if we need to on that. Okay, Mr. Barron. Yeah. You could. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so you concur with everything except uh, item number eight, which staff has no problem to uh, to delete. I I would leave it there and then. You can go ahead and work it out with uh, traffic. Traffic is not here. And since that's a comment from, uh, from traffic, um, I would have liked traffic to, uh, to, to, to agree to delete that. Would you uh, agree, Mr. Nod? We could work it either way, yeah. but we're, we're in the same. I mean, we agree. So okay. we'll, we'll, why don't we leave it, and then you, uh, you work it out with, with traffic? Yeah. No, as long as we know we have, we concur with, with planning okay. department, I think we have a... All right. Well, this, we don't let's go ahead and get going. Okay. I move Take to close the public hearing. No, Alina. Second. Second that advice. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion to approve or deny the review. I move to approve subject to the conditions. Okay, have uh, a rest, Mr. Duvalina. Motion Second. to approve. Second Narvaez. Second Narvaez. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All right. Now we're going to go to item 8A, consideration, preliminary consideration of Reef Plat of Lot 1, Block 1, Nava, Ranchitos, Plat into Lot 1A, Block 1, Nava, Ranchito, Reef Plat. The intent is industrial. Yes, for the record, uh, the applicant is Rene Nava, engineer, Pegua Consulting. Proposed use, industrial. The zoning for this one lot development is M1 AG, and a portion is located outside the city limits, but within the extraterritorial jurisdiction. This is the location view. The aerial view. Street view. The proposed uh, replat. Uh, staff comments planning the proposed motion. All right. Yes, sir. Santian. Rudy Santian, Pewa Consulting. Uh, we concur with the uh, comments, with staff comments. Thank you. Anybody has a question for Mr. Santian? No? Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Nantia. Thank you. you. You have a letter where they voluntarily agreed to the annexation as part of the process. Can you repeat the question, please? You have a letter from the applicant where he agrees to annexation as part of the process. We should have a letter, but I'm, I'm confused for the annexation. For the annexation of the, the property. Well, the property oh. is outside. 
I mean, we're willing to submit one if we have to. Yes. If, if that's it's necessary. I'm just curious because yeah. he says yeah. he agrees to annexation. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Mr. Dolina, for the record, uh, I did speak to Oscar Castillo this afternoon, and he, he did not submit a letter, but he did say that he would be submitting in the next cycle mm -hmm. to get that little piece in. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Santiago. Thank you. That to answer your question? Yes. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Okay, what are the wishes of the board? I'll make a motion to approve subject to the comments. Second. Okay. It's a motion by, uh, by Commissioner and uh, a second by Mr. Uh, Valina. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Now we're going to go to item number nine is the consideration of the following planning plats and final plats. So I'm going to request that we can take them all together. So I I'm, I'm make a motion to con uh, recommend approval and consider uh, items 9A, B, C, D, E, and F. Uh, Second. Sure, but on, uh, we were asked by engineering if we could table item B, B as, as amended. Okay. Which one? B. B as in boy. Oh, B as in boy. Okay. Is there a second? Second. 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 All signified by saying aye? Aye. 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 Okay. The ayes have it. Okay. Item 10, consideration of model subdivision compliance. A, consideration of model subdivision rule compliance at Santa Cecilia State Subdivision Plat. The intent is residential. Is there a motion to approve? So we'll just. No, I think. There's a motion by Commissioner. Dovalina. Oh, you're going to do a presentation? You'd like me to, yes. Go ahead, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Yeah. Uh, the applicant is uh, Rene. Wait, sorry. My apologies. Rene. Is it? I'm wearing that long sleeve shirt. I don't care if you, I mean, if you'd like, you, you can take action on it. it, it <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're okay with that if you want to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and, mo and make a, there was a motion to approve by Commissioner Dovalina. Is there a second? Second to approve consideration of model rule, subdivision, compliance, uh, of San, Santa Elia State Subdivision. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion to adjourn. Motion so, to, uh, um, Mr. Chair, all in favor. Oh, no, yes, sir. As far as yes, uh, R1B, I, I have taken note from Mr. Lovalina, so we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. It was um, the, 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 in the agenda, we're going to revisit R1Bs, and also we're going to try to get uh, a representative from TechSot. Text yeah. An update on the TechSot, uh, uh, Mr. Lovalina had a concern on, um, on traffic to, on, the, on the connections in the, in the south as far as on Duke 20. Okay. okay. We'll look at that conversation. And lastly... The, um, we have not had any uh, any uh, 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 continued education or anything on this uh, on this board for the last three years. So we are working on that. Uh, simply, we're getting through budgets. Okay, budget hearings. So we'll start the new year, so okay. fiscal year. With that. Since Thank you're you. since you're uh, doing budgets, isn't it time to also bring the capital improvements plan? For capital plan to the commission. For yes, approval. that was just presented. So I'll ask city management when they're ready to come here. But it has been presented to council. Okay. So that has been done. And then the other is a comprehensive plan. When was that looked at? When was that reviewed? Or, or like was it already reviewed this year? This year? No. And that's not, not, that I know. Maybe confusing you with recall or no compre the comprehensive plan for the city. Right. I, don't, I know that's something that this body needs to yes, recommend or and approve the map as far as. We'll be doing it this new fiscal year. We'll bring it in. Um, and as far as that zone, I, I'll, yes, I'll be asking the city engineer to come and do the presentation because I think mainly you're talking about specifications to construction, okay. not necessarily the zone itself, but you're looking at specifications for construction. So I'm going to have the, the city engineer come and talk about that part of it. If that's more along the lines of what you were 
wanting to see. Because uh, the, 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 all the neighbors that came from that yeah, neighborhood ten, north. Ten, 10 feet would be nice. Yeah. Okay. I'll have him come in and present. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Aye. 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 Aye.